Have you ever tried to choke someone unconscious? I had a little brother. <laughs> I like that you said you had a little brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back again at Aces Jiu-Jitsu Club with coaches Mikhail, Luke, and Ty. And uh, last time we learned how to do a choke from the front using someone's jacket. Yeah. But this one is totally different? This one is very different. Go on. Absolutely. More choking! Yeah. More choking! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the, the premise of, and, and concept behind the choke is very similar. It's the same, right? But you're doing it from a different position. Because it's a different position, the choke kind of looks a little bit different. But as you get a little bit better, all chokes kind of end up being the same. The same thing turns them all on. So this choke, the way it works is, instead of being in front of you, I'm going to walk behind you. Right. Now, in most movies, it's kind of odd and whispering. No, your no ear, it's good. It's right? just whisper, hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. <laughs> she knows. Okay. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, in this situation, most I see this time and time again in movies where people yeah. try to try to choke you here, right. and they grab their own bicep, yeah. and they start turning on the choke. And while that can be very uncomfortable, yeah, that's not very efficient. Well, and I know this from roughhousing with my brother as a kid. It's like you do it like in the movies, and be like, "Are you choking yet?" He's like, "He's like, I don't know." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So this choke is a little different okay. than what I call the ratchet choke, and we're gonna go over it in just a minute. And this choke, if you can feel the difference in it. Oh my God, uh, it's, I assume this is an air choke because I definitely felt my windpipe collapsing. Absolutely. Well, I noticed that you didn't put his throat here. You're no. using like the blade of your forearm, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Oh, oh dear. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that's not, I, like, no, I want to choke Brian. No. I want to choke Brian. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, right, that so. hurts. Well, and, and it sticks around a while yeah. too, right? It's like once you feel that, that, that I, I don't want to say it's crushing, but it's it's like it, it takes, like even now I still kind of feel it. Yeah. Here's a little extra side note. When you're training, choking someone yep. back and forth, it's important to remember to relax your throat, mm. right? If you're trying to like choke somebody over and over again while, in order to train to get better at it, if you like tense it up, it can end up, it'll start crinkle a little bit, like a, let's say like a soda can or something, right? Yeah. And, and that, it's not permanent, that's not really a, a, a big issue, but the next day you'll gonna sound like you're singing at a jazz club. <laughs> yeah, that sounds horrible. Exactly, right? So instead, just relax and uh, I feel the choke and then you tap okay. and then you're okay. Because you're right, I did. I was flexing against it, and I guess what it does is it makes you brittle so that when it does get through, oh, it's sure. gonna be damaging. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. But minor damaging. Yeah. But damaging nonetheless. Sure. And it doesn't stop the choke. Okay, so okay, right. that's a good thing to know. And so the wrong way a lot of people do this is they'll bring inside and they'll, they'll grab their own bicep, which is a, a wrong way to do what we call the rear naked choke. I mean, that feels like it works, but it's not as efficient. You're it's not as efficient. In fact, it gives you precious time to be able to defend yourself. Mm. The better way to do that technique, boom, is this way. And that technically could work. I like the fact that it's also like the old school F you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, what's funny is that uh, there was a split second where I thought, I don't have enough time to raise my hand, thinking I should have had my hand right here, <laughs> ready to tap. The problem with that way is, if Coach Luke here decides he wants to give me a rear naked choke. Yep. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I can break his arm. Oh, there it is. See, Steven Seagal. Right? <laughs> One thing right. <laughs> One thing. It's important to understand the difference of what we call this the ratchet choke, right? Now, when you're doing this standing, there is a little bit of more hip play. So a lot of times you do this technique when you're on the ground and you've taken their back is what we call it. But it's just as acceptable when you're standing up. So here we are in this, in this position. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send my arm over. And here, I'm gonna use what's called my cutter bone. Boy, my cutter that's bone a good right way here, to put it. The inside of your wrist, right there. We're gonna pretend like that's a blade. A lot of people make a mistake and they do it this way, and that's not cutting their throat with the flat of the blade. You wanna put the blade against the throat. Mm. The next thing we wanna do is use what's called a gable grip, right? So let's pretend we had two cups of water, right? And then we put our hands together, right? Exactly, and then clasp your hands. Oh, this is the most common mistake. People try to make their thumbs come out. Oh. Right, but that's not a gable grip. This is one of those strongest grips you can create. It's a self-reinforcing grip. So here, two cups of water, keep those thumbs tight, and boom, fold your fingers, now try to open those up. Excellent. This is a really important thing. Make a make an S grip like this. Yeah. Not a very strong grip. Make that same grip, use your thumbs this time. The gable grip, use your thumbs. But with, with the thumbs, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's, yeah. Now make the gable grip. Oh, yeah, wow. okay. It's a lot more difficult. Yeah, I would okay. totally think that interlacing your thumbs would give you more power. Right. Here's the really important one to always state. Never do this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Breaks your fingers. The yeah. Kirky. The what? The, the, the Kirk attack. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That was bad. That was a poor decision on his part. The Gorn is just gonna laugh when Kirk is screaming, holding all of his. My fingers and then up, the bro. Gorn goes, do the cable grid. <laughs> yeah. Kirk, like, you're not very good at even, fighting. Even with these reptilian fingers, <laughs> I can tell you. Let me experience the difference of that pulling apart. Try, try that oh, on. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so this. Okay. Yeah. Gable grip. That is astonishing. Yeah. Like, yeah. like everybody at home needs to find a friend and try that. That alone is worth the price of admission. That's awesome. Gable grip, by the way, made famous by one of the greatest American wrestlers. Clark oh. Gable. Dan Gable. Oh, got it. Sorry. Dan yeah. Clark Gable. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> yeah. meet, meet, meet each other halfway, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Great, one of the greatest coaches in, in, in wrestling history. So anyway, here we are in the same situation. Instead, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna gable grip. I'm gonna use my head, right? Oh man, I started I, feeling like the, the blood choke portion, like right there. Yeah. And the pain just radiated out. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Now here's the trick, guys. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like slaughtering a goat. I don't know if you ever killed your own food before. We haven't gotten to that episode yet. Okay, we're just gonna, instead of, instead of a lot of people see movies, they just do this. Blah, blah, yep, blah. Yep. Right? It's actually. Oh! Oh! Right. Wow! <laughs> so, to that point, I need to have pressure, counter pressure going, coming from behind me, not just pulling him on me. Yeah. Does that make sense? So, you're using your head to, to my push head it and down my in. shoulder, and I'm bringing my, this elbow behind him. Excellent. And that turns on the choke. You all right? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, okay. All right, all right, all right. So. All right. You're gonna turn it on. Wait, it's not on yet. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I mean, the whole time I'm thinking, don't flex, don't flex, don't flex. Let it, just let it happen. Oh. You're gonna do yours in just a second. Now notice, this elbow is migrating behind the shoulder. This elbow, mm -hmm. which is what most people forget. <coughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> when you're choking somebody, and a lot of times people talk about this, uh, what if you just headbutt backwards? Bing. Oh my gosh! What if you just headbutt backwards and broke your nose? Like, and when you when you perform the choke the way I'm talking about, right. headbutt me. All right. The way I like to teach it, I like to think about it's getting cheek to cheek. Yeah. Like we're gonna watch a movie. Yeah. Right. Like we're gonna watch Princess Bride. First thing I thought of. Actually, Best Princess movie Bride. Billy Crystal ever made. And now Luke is only mostly dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now you guys get the awesome opportunity to do the same thing. Okay. Let's do it. One, two, three. We're gonna do a ratchet choke. What kind of choke? Ratchet choke. Also known as a short choke, by the way. Short choke. We're gonna send your arm over his shoulder, under his neck. Mm -hmm. Excellent. We're gonna gable grip, just like we talked about before. You're gonna mm -hmm. frame along his back. Oh, okay. Ooh, you feel a difference there, don't you? Yeah, yeah. All right, you wanna get nice and tight and close. Mm -hmm. And now you're gonna bring this elbow back behind him. Now you wanna do that without moving this I'll assembly I'll keep that right locked here. in place, Absolutely. Right? And go. Push forward at the same time. Now strangle. <laughs> Very good. I forgot, I had Coach Ty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a little tougher, a little yeah. tougher. <laughs> Coach Ty doesn't like to go down. Let's do that again. Let's, yeah. do, let's get a couple reps. Uh, one thing that I didn't really consider was everything that's going on here. Mm -hmm. Like all of the positioning of the yes. arm. Very important. Something to note, it looks like you also kind of like Pulling Coach oh, sure. onto you okay. instead of pulling him off to the side. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Notice he chokes faster with me. I, I, it didn't escape me. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 a cool little tidbit for that is that I'm pulling him. I'm pushing. I'm, pu I'm using my face to push him over. I'm pushing his head onto my sword, onto my sword, onto my sword, and then I bring my elbow back so that they're working together mm. in Congress. <laughs> That's how you can tell it's a good choke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, ready? Now it's your turn. Okay. If you do oh. it well, I won't choke you again. Get your head in. Like Get so. your head in. Yep. Head in here. Head in. And then push him with your head. And bring your elbow back. Oh yeah. Hey! There you go. hey. Nicely done. All right. Nice. Thank you, sir. Hey, high five. So this is interesting. I would think me being shorter would be a problem with this. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. When sometimes it seems like being shorter is a problem with this, all you have to do is... Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. <laughs> okay, so just unlock the leg. Yes, but don't bring your foot up off the ground. All right. You're just gonna bump him, boom, and put pressure here. And that's when his leg collapses. 
and then you can turn on your choke. All so right. here, let's let's send over. Yep. All right. And here, and then I'm gonna bump his knee. Hey, and then, oh, there that's you go. Not a gable grip. There whoa, 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 whoa! Stay right here, and I'm gonna guide you yep. through it. Okay. So we're gonna. Oh, look okay. at that frame. Yep. All right now, and guide him. Back. Yes, and turn it on. All right. Hey, there you go. He tapped. Uh, oh, he tapped. Oh, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. No. Oh, you're telling me to go oh, ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, he said, you're doing it wrong, jerk. <laughs> Let me help you. All right, there we go. So heads in, and then, okay. Wow, wow, that's, oh, that's yeah. amazing. Uh, okay, let me try it again at speed. Okay, so I, I come up, we like, wow. You did were, I, did you, I get it? You didn't have your gable grip right. All right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> there yes. it is. Took him down. That was what? awesome. That was yes. fast, Dude, thank man. You. That was nice. amazing. Well done. Wow. There's only one more. You ready? Yeah. Feeling this? Yeah, no, I'm feeling it. I trust you completely. Bad idea. Uh, oh, God, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is before you even got to the elbow part, yeah, I didn't you just came in with enough force that it oh, sort of I'm triggered this panic. Uh, oh. uh, no, 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 not that that's bad, but like that's a testament yeah. to the power of, of this choke is before you even turn it on, the brain's going like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh shit, you know? Yes. Well, it's, it's really interesting in that every piece of it is important and each one of them adds to the efficacy of the move. It's yeah. like the grip. The gable uh, grip is astonishing. Uh, using the, the blade of your arm right there. Yeah. Pulling the elbow back, leaning ahead in, every bit of it makes it much more effective. All right, well, here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect for him because there was definitely, okay, okay, nope, not okay. And, and it really is, it's just like checkmate. There's nothing I can do at this point. Okay. <clears throat> I wish. <laughs> 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 I was about to say, I wish I had come in before. <laughs> I wish I had come in before and like had learned some counters for it and it just totally turned the tables. Oh my god, Mikhail's face was killing me. <laughs> was it was that over the line? Was that a breach of etiquette? No, actually. <laughs> that was, uh, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, dude, that was great. That was amazing. Super effective. That was awesome. You yeah. guys are the best. <laughs> Bam. Oh, up here. Up here. Up here. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Don't <laughs> think I didn't need something. <laughs>